everybody, this is the Bat Hound, sniffing out the best ASA softball bats there are. I'm here to bring you week 13 of the Best Bat Myth or Magic Challenge. We only have two weeks left of league play, and so far we have been watching the Monster OG DNA continue to widen the separation. It has won five of the first 12 weeks, and these last two weeks are really about trying to make a statement for these other bats. The DNA has already clinched uh, the league play. Uh, these other bats need to make a statement if they want to get into the playoffs because these guest bats want a shot at a title. So uh, we'll see what they can do today. Uh, it is a beautiful day, 71 degrees, 71% humidity. Wind is blowing in, uh, mostly crosswind and blowing in. Uh, ball is not flying super well today, so it'll be a good test for the bats. Uh, we have the fence a little over 300, maybe 305. Using all 52 300 balls, uh, each bat will get 20 swings. Got to have uh, hit the pavement out there uh, for a home run, uh, which is one point. Uh, let me give you the lineup for this week. Leading off is the uh, DeMarini Juggy. Then we have the Monster Fallout 3500 Flex. Then the Easton uh, Helmer. Then the DeMarini Insane. The Mike and Freak Platinum PT Balanced. And the Monster OG DNA, the Anarchy American, and then this week's guest bat is the 2018 Worth Mutation. So I'll take some swings with the Demarini Juggy. All right, the Juggy is a two-piece bat for ASA. Has a short barrel, 12 inches, with a triple wall. The handle and barrel connect with this D fusion. That looks pretty cool. And these seem to be pretty durable bats, hitting the 52-300 as well as some of the harder balls. It does have a slight end load. I don't think it's very pronounced. New in wrapper, you're looking anywhere from 200 to 230. Used probably 130 to 170. Sort of has the standard De Marini sound to it. Not a loud smash, but not a quiet bat. Uh, overall, I like the sound of it. I would have to say, in terms of handle knob, this and the De Marini Insane are my favorite handle knobs. Nice and big. The pop on the bat, I would say, is good. I wouldn't say great, but good. I have swung the juggy for many years, uh, but since trying some of these other bats, uh, it basically sits at home during game time because I just don't get the same kind of pop as some of these other bats. Overall, I would have to say, if you have a swing like mine, this isn't a bat that I would start with. I would recommend others before the DeMarini juggy. But if you're looking for a bat that has pretty decent pop and is a little bit less expensive, uh, then this is a good bat to look at. It could also be a good bat for you if you play in leagues that use the 52-300 ball, as well as a league or two that use some of the harder balls and you just want to have one bat that can go back and forth between the leagues. The Juggy still has a soft spot in my heart because I've swung it for so many years, but that's my two cents. All right, the juggy has two. Looks like the bats are going to do some good. Need to do some good work to cut the ball through the wind today. I hit a couple of those real hard. I thought, I uh, just couldn't get through the wind. Juggy will get the rest of its swings. All the other bats gets twenty. Get twenty, and then we'll be back with the results. All right, the results are in for week thirteen. Coming in last place, and really not too big of a surprise, is the Mike and Freak Balance P PT Balance with just one. Tied with it with just one is the Worth Mutation with one. I'm a little bit surprised at this because I unwrapped it last week and it was really hot out of the wrapper, but the elements were tough today. It was hard to get the ball through that wind, so it had a lot close, just couldn't get that last couple feet. Then we have the DeMarini Juggy with two. And tied with that is the DeMarini Insane with two. The Easton Helmer Blue Line with three. And the Anarchy American with four. And then we have a good separation uh, to the first and second place bat. Second place is the Monster Fallout with seven. This also had the long ball of today. And then we have uh, further separation with the Monster OG DNA with ten. So getting it done once again. That is six victories of the first 13 weeks.
So congratulations to the DNA uh, winning this week. Uh, be sure to tune in next week. We'll give the year-end total stats for each bat, quick evaluation, and we'll find out which bats are going to qualify for the year-end playoffs. This is the Bat Hound, everyone sounding off. Be sure to subscribe to the channel here. Check out some other videos here. Thanks, everybody.